Hey guys, it's me. So today our video is going to be making some candles and how to make some. Hey guys, so we're about to get into making some candles today. So um, the wax that we're going to be using today is Deluxe Satin Soy Wax. And this wax is from the Wooden Wick Co. And this slab is actually 11 pounds. So let me give you a little backstory about this particular wax right here. So it's a beginner beginner friendly. It's a single pour wax. So what that means is um, it won't have sinkholes and um, you won't have to heat it up or do anything with it. Once you pour it that one time, it's going to look perfect. It's skin safe. So just in case you don't wear gloves, you get it on your skin, it's skin safe. It's vegan, it has a clean burn, it's non-toxic. It's a great hot throw and cold throw. And if you don't know what hot throw is, it is basically um, how good the candles smell when it's hot. And a cold throw is how good the candle smells when it is cold. So if you can smell it when it's cold, that's a cold throw. If you can smell it when it's hot, that's the hot throw. So the fragrance load for that wax um, is up to 12%. So basically, since you're dealing with a flame and all waxes have different percentages, but this wax in particular, it goes up to 12%. So basically what that means is you can use fragrance oil up to that 12% or in between that 12%. If you go over that 12%, there could be a risk of, you know, having a high flame, catching on fire because the wax cannot hold that much fragrance oil or the fragrance oil could make the candle sweat. And if your candle sweats on top and you can see like little wet spots, that means that you have too much fragrance oil. And also the fragrance oil could also like make your wick like drown. It can clog the wick. So it's not even gonna burn the correct way. So that's what that means. <clears throat> so this wax is actually gluten-free, toxin-free, paraben-free. And this is just a great wax. And so it has a mix and pour temperature of 180 to 190. So what that means is you can heat this wax up to 190, but nothing over that because it could burn the wax. And, um, or you can heat it in between the 180 to 190 range. And that's also the mix and pour time. So once you take it off of that burner and it hits 190 or whatever in between that, you can add your fragrance oil right away, or you can wait till it cools down at 180 and you can add it, but nothing less than that. Because if you, if there's particular waxes and you're supposed to put the fragrance oil in at a certain time and you wait, you know, it could actually cause the wax and the fragrance oil not to bind and your candle won't smell like nothing. So that's that. So we're gonna be making our candles in these jars right here. These are also from the wooden wick. These are called traveling tins because obviously if you travel, you, you don't wanna travel with your glass. So these are what these look like. Um, there are six ounces and they're, they're really nice. They look really nice. So um, what you'll need is um, your wooden wicks or whatever wick you use. These are the wicks that I use. These are the from the Wooden Wick Co. Um, you need to have the right wick for your vessel because if you don't, you can under wick it or you can over wick it, which means if you over wick it, you can have a high um, flame and it could cause your candle to catch fire or you know, just not be right. And if you under wick it, you know, when you burn your candle, it might not burn all the way around. It might sink in and you'll still have wax surrounding the outsider. So I also have these right here. These are wick clips for you to stick your wooden wicks in. And again, you can use any kind of wicks, cotton wicks, eco wicks, any type of wicks, but these are just the ones that I use. So we're gonna work with those today. You're gonna need your wick stickers. These stickers are what you need to put on the bottom of these wick clips in order to stick it inside the candle. The fragrance oil we're gonna be using today, this is actually from Aztec and it's called Gain Type. So what that means is, it smells like the Gain um, laundry detergent. So um, that's what that smells like, but um, there is top, middle, and bottom notes to fragrance oils, 
and the top note to this is orange the middle note is floral citrus blossom wood fern the bottom is musk and it's also skin safe because there's a lot of fragrance oils that is not skin safe but this one in particular is skin safe just in case you don't use glove or you accidentally get it on your skin and do not wash it off and this is from aztec so that's what we're going to be using today and let me show you some more of the equipment so you're going to need a burner um i don't make my candles in my kitchen so that's why i have a plug-in burner so you're going to need some type of container to pour your fragrance oil in to measure it out um and i have this thick plastic container and it works fine because if you use sometimes if you use too much too thin of a container it can melt through the like the fragrance oil can melt through it it can burn through it you're going to need your scale and you're also going to need some um, alcohol so basically what the alcohol is for is to clean the inside of the vessel because mind you these are coming from warehouses or they're coming from wherever they're coming from and there's dust there's dirt there's all types of stuff in there and if you do not clean that out that wick sticker may not stick in there or if it does stick once you pour your candle in it might come unattached and your wick could just be floating around and that's another reason that it can is hazardous and we don't want that so you're going to need a heating gun and again this is a one single pour wax so you're not going to need a heating gun um for it afterwards to fix any type of um, imperfections in it but the only reason why I got this out is because I'm also going to be making some wax melts so I'm going to heat up my wax melt um, silicone before I pour it in there um, so that's what this is here for but you're definitely going to need this so you're also going to need some type of spoon spatula knife something to dig your wax out and i just got this it's very heavy duty it's actually an ice cream scooper um and it's very very heavy and heavy duty so you just scoop out your wax with it you're also going to need a thermometer so here's the thermometer i use it has a clip on it and you clip it to your container and it gives you a temperature right away so you're going to need that so you know what temperature to stop at take it off put it on and all that you're going to need a spatula to stir your fragrance oil and stir your wax you're going to need a pitcher you're going to need a pitcher for you to put your wax and watts on the burner and for it to melt in your pour pitcher and you're also going to need some type of pot if you're doing the double boiler method that's what we're doing today double boiler method some people use presto pots or you know whatever else they use we're going to use the double boiler method so you're going to put a little bit of water in um at the bottom and then you're going to put this in and that's how you double boil it so i got my burner and here is my wax melt silicone this is what i'm going to be pouring my wax melts in today and you know i have i just actually found these so i'm gonna be putting these inside of there so because gain is green so i'm like yeah let's do that let's make them look pretty instead of just plain white for this video so because i normally don't use stuff like this i just make plain white so we're going to use that so here is all of the equipment that you are going to need if you are going to make candles. Okay, so guys, what we're going to start with next, we're going to get into our wax. And again, this is Deluxe Satin Soy Wax from the Wooden Wick Co. And let's get into it. So for this particular video, I'm only going to make um, about eight ounces of wax um again i'm only just making a candle for this video so i'm going to make one vessel and then whatever is left that's what i'm going to make into the wax melt so you can measure your stuff out your wax your fragrance oil out in ounces but if you want to be very accurate measure it out in grams because that's where you're going to get down to every little drop or every little bit of wax that you need so um, eight ounces converted into grams is 226.7 grams of wax that we're going to need for this video. And um, so basically, since that is half of a pound, we're going to use it's normally I'm not going to get into um, the calculations in this video, um, maybe for another video. But for this particular video, we're just going to do one ounce to one pound. And since we're doing half of a pound, we're going to do half of the fragrance oil that we need. So we're going to need 0.8 ounces of fragrance oil and that converted is 22.67 grams and that is at a 10% of fragrance oil and again this wax goes up to 12 but we're going to only do 10. 
So let's get into it. Let me roll this back so you guys can see what it looks like. And it's like creamy. Um, let me, I got a little piece over here. It's creamy. It's like um, off-white. It's not like the coconut wax from Wooda Wood. Coconut wax is like a pure white. This is more so like an off-white. It's not so hard, but it's not as soft. And that's how you can break it. So um, we're going to turn our scale on. Make sure you tear it um, so you're not counting the weight of your container. And my thing's already set to grams. And again, we're going to be doing 226 grams. So since I already got this little piece, I'm just going to throw that in there. So you get your scooper and scoop you some wax out. Put it in the jar. And before, I was probably using maybe like a spatula or I was using... Um, like a, a hard type of plastic knife and I just got this and I find this a little bit easier to scoop out so that's what we're going to do so right now we're at 206 we need to go to 226 so let's get a little bit more Okay, that's a little bit over, so let's just chop that in half. 17. We're almost there, guys. Okay, so that's 221. Um, and we need it like, we need it 22. So let me find a little tiny piece. Okay. So let's close this up. We're gonna close that up, set it aside. So now we have our wax and our pour pitcher. Okay guys, so after we measure out our wax, the next step that we need to do is put our water in our pot, which I did. It's not very high. It's just like, maybe like right here. So we're gonna turn our burner on and I'm just gonna put that on like three and a half. Um, and we're gonna let that heat up. And once it starts boiling, then we could add our wax inside of here and do the double boiler method. So yeah, guys, stay tuned. Okay, guys, so next, while we're letting our water boil, we're going to get in to um, wicking our containers. And as you can see, it has like spots on it because I have residue from my gloves, but that's okay because we can always clean that off once we are fully done with it. So again, we're gonna take the top off. We don't need the top at all right now at this point. We're going to get our alcohol. And I bought these little alcohol pads because I just find it easier. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go in our container, go around. We're gonna clean all in there, get all that residue out of there. The dirt, the dust, all that nasty stuff. We're going to get that out of there. And look. Look at that. Look at that. Exactly. So, we're just going to clean that out. And I'm going to get a dry one. And I'm going to go back over it. Just to get all that extraness out of there. So, we're going to close that up. And we're going to get our wick clip and here is the wick clips again they're from wooden wick and this is actually a bag of 100 and these are for the flat wick so these are flat wick clips and this is what they look like right here so we'll stick our wick in this part right here and we'll stick our stick on the bottom part of here so we're gonna wipe this off as well clean that off so here's our wick stickers you can pretty much get these wick stickers from any type of candle um, website. Um, these, I got these off of Amazon. I think I got a pack of like a thousand or something. So what I'm going to do is just pull the sticker off on the top. I'm going to leave it still on the paper though. Pull that off. I'm going to stick my clip on it just like that. And now we're going to get into our wick. And again, here's the wicks that I'm going to be using. 
um, for this particular vessel. And this is the Crackling Wooden Wick um, Booster Wick. And again, this is from Wooden Wick. And these are actually, I got these pre-cut down um, to three inches, but some of them kind of are bigger than what they were supposed to be, but that's fine. And these have the booster strip right here in the middle, as you can see. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that, stick it in there, just like that, guys. For anybody that's not really particular with the wooden wick, because at first I didn't know what a wooden wick was either. A lot of people really don't know what wooden wicks are. So, and they're safe. They're just like any normal wig as long as you take care of them just like you, you would an, a, a regular one, traditional one. So we got that. We're going to take that off of there just like that. Here's our vessel. And um, there's a lot of places they do sell little things that you can put inside of here so you know that it's being centered. But me, um, I like to just look at it and um, just center it myself just like that and stick it in there. I normally make sure it's stuck in there. And there you go. It is centered in the middle, just like that. And um, I got them pre-cut because I knew how big these vessels were. So I didn't want to waste or just have to cut this off. So some of them are pre-cut and some of them aren't, but I'm not gonna complain. All right, so the next step we're gonna do, we're still waiting for our water to boil. So the next step that we're going to do, we're going to weigh out our fragrance oil. We're pretty much just doing everything in advance so we're not just stuck doing everything while our wax is melting or while our wax is getting ready done and we're rushing everything. So we're just gonna do everything step by step and get everything done in advance. So like I said before, so this is the fragrance oil that we're gonna be using. It's from Aztec and it's Gain Type. And again, this is, um, it smells just like the laundry detergent and this is a one ounce bottle so we're probably just going to be using half of it like i said so here is the plastic container that i use for the fragrance oil and we again we have our scale so we're going to put that on there tear it out tear it out and again like i said we need 0.8 ounces of fragrance oil but i use grams so we need 22.67 and that is at 10 percent so I just take it off of there and start pouring. I normally use my spatula because it's easier for me to pour. I'm, I'm most definitely going to use it once I get to pouring um, my wax. So we're at, that's 18. That's 20. That's 21. All right, we're there. And we're gonna close that container up. And now we have our fragrance oil that we're going to set aside. Okay guys, so our water is officially started boiling if you don't already hear it in the back. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our thermometer, we're gonna stick it on the side of our container just like that and we're going to put it on our burner. So I'm going to do that right now. And this is what it should look like, guys. Just like that. Just like that. So, while we're doing that, we're going to prep again. So, like I said, um, you can use the heat gun if you don't want any extra frosting. And I told you we were going to use it for this in particular. Because when you wash this, it still leaves residue. And that's the hardest thing about using silicone. Um, you have to clean them really good. So, basically, what I did, if you guys can't tell... Look, look at that. So I only did two because, like, again, I'm only using eight ounces of wax, and that is already six. So whatever's left over, it might only just be one, but I did two to be safe. Look how clean that looks, you guys. So what it did was I took my heat gun, and I heated it up. I heated these up, and I heated it up until the ex that excess of wax um, melted, and then I re-wiped it out. So this is why it looks like that. So it should help with the frosting. So what we're gonna do, we're going to prep this. So like I said, we're gonna use these right here cause I just found them and I want you guys to see how cute they would be. So we're gonna open it up. And 
we're just going to sprinkle some in there sprinkle some in there sprinkle some in there so these can make our wax melt shimmer and i will show you guys the final product when they get done and again i'm using this emerald green looking color because gain is green well yeah <laughs> so this is what it will look like guys so when you wake when you make your wax melt and you pour that wax in there these will start to flow so once they get done there could be some in the front the back the middle whatever so it's gonna look pretty cool guys and when you melt it and it's not um you don't have to be cautious about it or anything like that only because um wax melts go on a wax warmer so therefore they don't have an open flame so when you're making wax melt you don't really have to be cautious about how much fragrance oil you use or um what all you put into your wax melts for like decorations or anything like that because there's not an open flame so nothing can catch on fire or anything like that so when these melt in the burner it's just going to melt in the wax and they're just going to be floating around and that's it it's just going to look pretty while it's burning so okay so as you can see guys i don't know if you guys can see that or not right now we are at about 160 we're at about 160 the wax is almost done melting even if it's done melting and you still haven't hit your time yet that's fine just stir it up and just wait for your time because you don't want to take it off sooner than what it needs to be off of the fire and you know it's not hot enough for your fragrance oil to bind with the wax so that's what that looks like so yeah Okay guys, so our wax is done. It's like at about like around 188. Let me see, let me turn it around. Okay, it's at about um, 185. So we're gonna take that off. We don't need that anymore. We're gonna get our fragrance oil. We're gonna pour that in there. Now I like to go like this because I need every drop. And we're going to just stir for like about a minute because we want that fragrance oil to bind with the wax. So we're just going to stir, 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 stir. I like to stir in circles, backwards, forwards, every which way. So I know that it bind it. So we're just going to keep stirring. We're just going to stir. And I'm still stirring, I'm just moving it out the way. And I normally use a timer. Oh, it smells so good. <laughs> Sorry, you guys. So we're just gonna leave these right here so you guys can see. All right, so we're going to go pour. I like to pour with my spatula so it's not splashing everywhere. And yes, you can pour on your wick. It's not going to bother it. So just pour slowly because if you pour slowly, then there won't be no bubbles in it. All right, there we go. That's about as much as it needs in there. So now we're going to pour our wax melts. I'm glad I cleaned out too, because that's exactly how much I need. And there you have it, guys. So let me show y'all, let me show y'all. Here we go, we got our candle, and we got our wax melts. Look how cute those are, guys. I can't wait to see them when they dry. So, um, we're gonna check back in when they dry, guys. Hey guys, so here is the finished product. No sinkhole, smooth top. Like again, it said it was only one single pour, so you want to get your wick trimmers and you want to trim it about one fourth of an inch. So just trim that off just like that. And I like to leave it at an angle a little bit, if you can see. And it smells just like gain, y'all. Look at that. Perfect. And now we can put the top on it and let it cure. And here's our wax melts. Don't they look pretty or shimmery? Now let's pull them out. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is, guys. Let's do the other one. Come
come out perfect. Look at that. Look at that. No frosting, no nothing. Just perfect. And there you go. And that is how you make wax melts in a candle. Oh, I think I might burn. Since I have two, I think I'm going to let one cure. And I'm going to burn this one right now. Bye, guys.